Hey everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to allow blocked programs through the Windows firewall. Now this is important for when you're trying to run programs, and you're trying to figure out why it's being blocked by Windows. Um, and also, if you're trying to figure out why your internet browser isn't working, you can also use this to uh, unblock the internet browser so it can allow the port to run through the firewall. The reason why sometimes Google Chrome doesn't work is because sometimes the port is being blocked because it is an external program out of Windows and so the uh, operating system may not uh, recognize it. So this is a pretty simple process on Windows 7. All you need to do is go to Start, Control Panel, and you'll see a bunch of little um, things you can choose from. Click System and Security. And right here where you see Windows Firewall, you can click Allow a Program Through Windows Firewall. If you click Windows Firewall also, you can click it in the left-hand panel. As you can see, I have a couple of things uh, enabled. To change the setting, obviously, you go to Change the Settings. Allow another program and or if the program is listed already. Like let's say we want to allow the Secure Socket Tunneling Protocol. Um, we can do that just right here or if we're going to allow another program we click allow another program and a window should pop up uh, depending on a lot of uh, how many programs you have on your computer I have a lot um, installed on my computer so it may take a little bit longer as you can see it's a long list but let's say Adobe After Effects is being blocked on my computer because I'm trying to use Bridge online and the computer recognizes it as some kind of virus or some kind of backdoor, you know, Trojan. So what you can do is either browse for a program by going to uh, the program files by going for a, when it when it opens up a browser window, you click computer, local disk and you click either program files for the program files running if you have a 64-bit operating system and or um, x86 which means a 32-bit operating system um, it won't have this if you're running a 32-bit um, operating system just to let you know so Windows 7 is um, specific to that kind of thing so let's say Skype is being blocked um, you know you can choose it through there if not it's usually listed right here so you shouldn't worry but let's unblock Adobe After Effects because for some reason it's being uh, blocked now right here it gives you two choices to, to unblock home and private so it can run through home and private networks and also public networks which means that public networks will now be able to access your computer now you can either keep this unchecked which wouldn't harm your computer however if you're using bridge and you're trying to get to some other external source so let's say a third party uh, program through a website that you don't know you would need public access in order for you to use it sometimes that may not be the case and you can leave home and work by itself this is a private network and so that should be fine all you need to do is click OK and that's it now you've allowed a program through Windows firewall it's pretty simple um, very very easy to do um, and it should fix a lot of problems that people have with connecting to the internet once again Thank you for your time. This is Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.